first glance, Maria Butierskaya has the confident walk of someone who has made it to the top. But she knows that it will not be easy to stay there. Every season has its own challenges. I think last year was a bit easier to compete because I was the world champion. I think that some of my mistakes were forgiven by the judges. This year, I don't have any leeway for mistakes, so I think it will be a more difficult year. That is the nature of our sport. Now I have to consider everyone as a competitor. If I don't skate a clean performance, anyone can overtake me. We can look at it two ways. I am my main competitor. I have to overcome myself. But if I fail, then there's a crowd of people who can defeat me. Even at the peak of her success, Maria Butierskaya never forgot the time her own federation gave up on her, told her that she had no future in figure skating. She has now accepted overcoming obstacles as just a cold, hard reality of life. The critics don't bother me now. I think they feel ashamed. I found strength because I started skating at age five. By the time I was 15, I had spent 10 years on the ice. When they threw me out of skating school, I stopped for three months. But then I thought, why should some person decide my destiny? My first coach was always impressed with me. She would say, you have talent, something will come of you. So I decided to prove not only to myself, but to everyone, that no one has the right to take a dream away from someone. In Russian figure skating, I left a path. I became the first woman to win the world at the unusual age of 26. I think I will be an example for all Russian girls that they will have the strength and the will to reach their dreams. New challenges for Maria Butierskaya now. She is no longer the reigning world champion, of course, but as Susie alluded to earlier, perhaps she needs to be the outsider the challenger being told that she cannot do it. The oldest world champion in history for the ladies a couple of years ago at the age of 26, now 28. Here she is trying to win another gold in the Grand Prix. She really needed that triple let's double toe to get her off to a good start. Oh, Maria leaning, really losing her technique on that triple flip. Peter, she told us she doesn't think the judges will be as forgiving this year, so we'll have to wait and see how much that fall costs her. Even in her win at Nations Cup in Germany, she was not perfect in the free skate. Music here, by the way, 17 moments in spring from a popular Soviet TV series in the 1970s. Triple toe, half loop, triple sow cow. and very sloppy.
elbows are actually quite low. It's nice to see a spiral that rises above the hip level and one that can sustain itself. Very slow and tentative into this double axle. Completed though. It almost looks like she's skating on the defense right now. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Jenny Kirk shook her up a little bit. <laughs> to rely on the thought that she is a mature woman skating on the ice and performing and she wants to bring that artistry to the sport rather than have it be gymnastics but i think what she doesn't realize is that the likes of jenny kirk can combine that artistry along with wonderful skating ability well she does take pride though in the fact that she is still skating so well at the age of 28 and became the oldest world champion at 26 and wants to be a role model for those kids growing up, especially back home in Russia. This, though, not the performance that she was looking for here in the free skate, trying to win a second gold medal of the series. Here's the triple Lutz. She gets great height on this. This was nice, a good double toe loop on the end. However, that did not carry through the program, and she became defensive in her skating. The triple flip, look at that. The leg doesn't even come back. It looks as though she's just learning the jump. Very foreign for her at that moment. Elena Tchaikovskaya, her coach, her sixth coach, by the way, throughout her career. Alongside, now the first set of marks for technical merit, Peter. Well, with the technical merit marks, these should not be higher than Jenny Kirk. But they are. They are. And does that surprise you, holding up a former world champion? No. You've seen it happen once or twice. I don't think she needs to be nervous about being vulnerable. I think they are protecting her. Mm -hmm. And now the marks for presentation, Susie, much higher. And I think a little bit too high. When you don't have the whole package, the jumps, the spins, the presentation marks should reflect that. Christmas came early for her. <laughs> so Maria Butierskaya with a Christmas present into the lead right now over Victoria Volchkova and Jenny Kirk.